Are you looking for a fast way to travel around the map and safely without actually using flyers? Just go to the Bezel Bufos. That's right, the frogs. These guys have an absolutely amazing jump on them. The only trouble is these guys lurk in the swamps, one of the most deadliest environments on the game, but very much worth the tame. These guys can take out the flies in no time at all. These guys can also swim rapidly. With that, their attacks have a bit of torpidity damage as well, so you can even knock creatures out using the Bezel Bufo. So sit back guys, relax, and let's go tame a Bezel Bufo. So first thing is first guys, you are going to need the saddle and this can be unlocked at level 40, so rather early on. And to make this you're going to need 5 cemented paste, 95 fibre, 170 hide and 30 wood. And this can be crafted anywhere because you can craft it in your hand, there it is. Next thing, we're going to take some weapons, something stomping about behind there. Uh, we're going to take a crossbow. We're going to take a crossbow because that's all we're going to need, really. We're going to take a crossbow and should we just, should we just take like a, we'll take a machine gun just because we'll have that as protection, I guess. So guys, consumables, tranks, whatever you want to call them, we're going to take some narcotics. We're going to just take 36. That should be rather plenty. Now when it comes to taming food guys, you can use regular kibble if you like, as you can see I've only got 4 so I'm not doing too good when it comes to the taming food. But what I have got is a dino that can kill everything and get me some nice raw prime meat, which is what I'm going to use to tame the bufo, buf the bezel bufo. Now guys, I told you I had a dino that was badass and could kill anything that could get me raw prime meat. And I chose the Giga. Why not? The biggest and baddest. And that snake is going down. One bite and I've got my prime meat. Now guys, when it comes to the location of the, Bufo, the Bezel Bufo, it is the swamps. Now, because my base is built around the swamps, I'm literally here straight away. And all I need to do is go into this nice little foresty area and find one. Now, sometimes I can find them just wandering along here. So I'm just going to have a quick browse around here, see if I can find one around us oh there we go look we've got one there there we go i was gonna say oh we've got two there we, it doesn't take long to find um to find them around my base to be fair guys if you've not built them around your base or if you've not built around the uh, the swamps or near the swamps whatever which is quite a smart move until there until you're well prepared like me i've got dinos for days so i don't need to worry now what i'm going to do is get off my my good old Hmm, I'm just trying to think. Will my Giga attack it? I think it probably will. Right, let's go kill a few, uh, few dillos. Oh no, he didn't. Did he just hit me? Oh no, I don't think he was going for me. I think, uh, I think they, uh, they got in the way. So what we're gonna do is go over. You don't want to get too close because these guys will, uh, will attack you. So we're just gonna get closer. Oh, there's a raptor there. Go get it, my Giga. Protect me. There we go, one shot. Oh. Now these guys can hit you and trank you, as you can tell. It can lick you with its tongue. Oh, we got it, we got it down. Nice, so it only took two shots. It's only a level 16, but we'll take that. Oh, no, wait there, Mr. Giga, you got all my taming food. Come back here. That's why That's why I chose a take a giga because it's just literally tearing through everything let's get oh, bloody hell let's get all this prime meat i think this should be uh this should be enough i might even get that one if that's a male i'm gonna get that one as well the super easy to tame to be fair guys it took me like three or four shots and we got this oh i thought you said it killed it then oh no no can i have my uh my trank arrows back thank you thank you very much so now oh jesus christ ah quick Help me! I might. Oh, I'm going down, but it's alright. My gigas, my gigas come. There we go. Thank you. I just need to wait now. Damn. Damn. 
He was gonna get up first. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes. This is why you keep a Giga with you. Now I just gotta wait till I get up. Oh God, now we've got the little fly things coming. Yeah, that's it, you just stand on me. This this can't go any better. Hey, I'm up. Oh, Mabufo, yay, he's mine. I thought he was dead. I thought you were dead. Nice, drop them. Wow, okay. I'll, yeah, put a saddle on you. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, whoa, you, you got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna take you, some of you, anyway. Um, I need to take my cryopod back. This could all just drop, I don't care. I'm gonna go get the other Bufo, Bufo, Beasel Bufo. I can't, I can't say it, I can't say it. The Beasel Bufo, I'm gonna get the other one. So we've got a female here. I'm hoping the other one's a male. Oh, no, I ain't. Oh, Jesus. Leave me alone, Blaz. Where's my Beasel? Get it. You're, you're good for killing flies, right? Get it. Moing, 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 moing. Ha ha ha, lizards. That was sick. You are sick, man. Oh, there's a Paris. There's a Parasaurotherium after me. Get it, Beasel. Yeah. Ah! We're out of ammunition now. So guys, I can't find another Beasel Bufo. So I've just got my uh, my female here. But she is pretty good, actually. I have never had one of these before. And they're pretty fun, actually. So this is just their walking speed. As you can see, this isn't actually that bad. It's pretty fast. And this is the sprint. Look at that. I'm I'm well chuffed with how, how fast these guys can sprint. Especially around these uh, swamp biomes. I reckon they can outrun almost anything in this swamp biome. The only thing is, as you can see, guys, their stamina does drain rather quickly. But... Like I say, this is just a walking speed. So even when you're fully fully empty on stamina, you can still outrun quite a lot of things just by walking normally. Now, if you think that running away was a good idea with a Beasel Bufo, you should try the jump. Look how high these guys jump. It's literally, we can jump over a Paraceratherium. How amazing is that? If something's like coming towards you, you can just go boing, I don't think so, and away you go. Even without running and sprinting, oh, I'm still a bit uh, bit tired, but even without sprinting, look at that. We can just literally jump around the map. Look at that, boing. Oh, it's hitting its chin. Yeah, take that. So, guys, the Beasel Bufo is not, is, is, is literally not going to kill anything really for you. But what he can do is his little lick attack. If we can uh, just spin around quick. What are, what are, you can see he sticks his tongue out. Just jump over the uh, <laughs> the good old uh, little dillo. He doesn't have a clue what's going on. Look, I'm coming at him at all angles. Bang. And he also has a, like a, sw uh, a swing attack. So he swings his tongue all the way around. So if there's multiple enemies, he can do that. What are, what level is this guy? You can see though, that they they literally they don't they don't kill anything they can't kill anything what level are you oh okay maybe maybe probably could that was just a high level dillo so let's try and find a low level one and see if we can kill it with a bezel bufo right we've got a dillo here what level are you young sir or lady 16 that's more reasonable than a level 100 and like 17 18 whatever it was so if we just whack it what ah sweet jump over look at that nice I'm, I'm learning that that's a good little combo to do Whee! just run away or jump away turn around turn radius is a bit rubbish but no it's all right jump over again look at that there's not a lot you can't jump over with this guy and as you can see is running away and that's because like you saw when it did it to me when it hits you with its tongue it can actually cause torpidity and you can knock things out like so also you can kill as well but i think this is more of a yeah you can see this this guy don't really he's not he's not a killer he's not a killer guy so i wouldn't use him to kill anything in fact if you're gonna level him up 
I'd probably do health, obviously, so he doesn't die. But I'd probably whack his stamina in. And maybe movement speed as well. That'd be good. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a male. Ah. No, no, no. Stop. Hey, we got it down, though. You, don't, don't kill this one. I want it, uh, actually. You have it. There we go. <laughs> We're going to get a male as well. Nice. Whoops. I want them. Perfect. So as I was saying, guys, the Bezel Bufo is great when it comes to these little flies. They they kill them with a tongue. Nice. Literally one whip with a tongue. And they can, they can kill multiple at a time, obviously, with their swing attack. But as well... They can get cementing paste doing this, and they gather a lot. We just got 92 off one. So they can get a lot of cementing paste and a lot of chitin as well. So these guys are pretty awesome when it comes to gathering cementing paste and chitin. There we go. We got two. There we go. Look at that. We just killed two of the flies. Very easy. So, guys, as you can see, the Bezel Bufo can swim as well, and they're pretty fast. The only thing is. They don't have another speed. It's just this speed. There's no sprinting speed or anything like that. Uh, you can't jump out of the water either, which I thought was a bit like, oh, I wanted, I wanted to, you know, do a big jump out of the water or anything like that. But their swim speed is quite fast anyway, so you're not going to need really another speed. But what you are going to need, guys, is to watch your health, your lungs, your oxygen, whatever, because you can you can still die even though the Bezel Bufo doesn't have any oxygen gauge when he's in the water. Well, that is it, guys. That is all there is to know about the Bezel Bufo. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel because it helps out a lot. But for now, we're dying.